My name is Jefferson Hall. I'm a staff scientist at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute uh, down here in Panama. I head up a, a project called Prorena, which is a native species reforestation project. We're standing here in the Prorena Nursery, which is in a little town called Gamboa, which is on the bank of the Panama Canal. And this Prorena Nursery, we can manage, germinate, uh, grow up over a hundred different species of native plants. One of the big problems of using native species, you know, plants that are, that are part of the forest matrix here, uh, was the fact that nobody knew how to, how to germinate most of them, how they grew, the conditions they grew best in. We can get up to 100 species, up to 100,000 seedlings here, and it's quite a trick to get them so that they're all ready to kind of go out to planting at the same time. So what we have here in this uh, nursery tray, we actually have a, a dozen different species mixed in here. We're going to plant 60 hectares, uh, which is probably about a, a quarter of a, of a square mile. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to plant that in an area which is within the boundaries of Soberania National Park here in Panama. And what we're going to plant it on is this, this uh, non-native area of grass, an invasive grass from Asia uh, called Sacrum spontaneum. The grass gets up to, up to about, believe it or not, about 20 feet tall, and it's really hard for trees to get established in there. So we've learned how to control it by putting trees out there in shade. You have to keep cutting it, and you have to have trees that have big spreading branches that can put shade underneath. Within this nursery tray, we have trees that will become large canopy trees. We have understory shrubs. We have trees here that are planted as, that are nitrogen fixers that will help improve the fertility of soil. We have trees that we've done studies that we know bring in a lot of birds. And with the birds, we know the birds come in and disperse seeds. Uh, so we get other species that we didn't plant uh, below, the, below, below these fruit trees. If you want all the plants and all the critters, all the animals to come in, uh, you really have to have the native species. You have to have what the birds eat. You have to have what the insects will attach part of biodiversity. You have to have the species that will bring in the mammals. We have to understand the fundamental, fundamental principles of how forests organize themselves, the theoretical implications of you know, seed dispersal and, and all, all this, this really cool ecology that's going on here. I'm interested in that, though, in order to try to figure out how to change the world, really. How to reforest landscapes, how to manage forests. You know, so many forests are being logged. Logging is not necessarily a bad thing. Logging, unplanned, unmanaged, is quite often a bad thing. But we still need goods and products from the forest, and it's trying to do that in an in a ecologically sustainable way that's really interested in me.